Good morning guys, welcome back to Von Kettle Kitchen. This is me just getting up. So it is Sunday morning and for some reason it is raining out. It was not supposed to rain today. So my husband's still sleeping. So I'm gonna make some pancakes from the homemade Bisquick that I had made. I will link down below the Bisquick recipe. Super simple, three ingredients. It's Bisquick mix, eggs, and milk. So let's get started. Now that I have my coffee started, we are going to get the pancake mix ready. So I have this little griddle. You can get these at Walmart or anything like this. This is just a family hand-me-down. You want to have the temperature at 375 or whatever. I have a little temperature gauge on my handle here. So we're gonna do two cups of the homemade Bisquick mix. And you can also use this to make waffles and biscuits as well. I'm going to put this aside. I'm going to crack two eggs into the measuring cup. If you ever crack an egg and a shell falls in, you always wanna separate your eggs as well in a separate container before adding it to something. Shell attracts a shell. So if a shell goes in here, you use the egg and it comes right out, it's like a magnet. So I'm actually going to whisk that together. I'm gonna to grab a fork. And to that, we are going to add a cup of milk. All right. So I'm actually just going to use the fork to incorporate this. And you don't want to over mix it because you don't want tough pancakes. You want fluffy ones. You just want to mix it until it's moistens you don't want it to be you can have some lumps in there that is perfectly fine so let me let me bring you on in I don't ever use a hand mixer or anything like that when I'm making pancakes. It's just so super simple. If you want your batter to be a little runnier or loose, you can always just add a little bit more milk, which I prefer mine a little more loose. Add a couple tablespoons more. Perfect, and now I'm gonna back you up so I can bring the griddle back to the counter. Okay, now that the griddle has come up to temperature, on my griddle I have a little light just like a waffle maker does. So when it shuts off, I know it's ready. So I'm just gonna spray. And I'm just gonna start to ladle on. I've always wanted to be one of those people that could just take a squirt bottle and just make like these figures on here. I don't think I'm that good. So now we're gonna let these start to cook. I'm not gonna flip them and I'll show you in a little bit what you should look for before you flip them. So I don't know if you can really tell or not. It's starting to bubble up and this is where the air is starting to escape. So we're gonna let these cook for about two minutes on that side. At this point, as it's still bubbling up here, if you wanted to add chocolate chips to this, blueberries, this would be the perfect time, or bananas and some shredded coconut. Today, we're just going to have plain pancakes. So if you still see the steam, that means they're not ready to flip yet, especially with that much steam. All right, so we are going to flip. There's a lot of bubbles. We're gonna peek underneath to make sure. Seems pretty good to me. Oops. 
can't believe I recorded that horrible flip. Alright, so they're going to go for about another two minutes on that side. Alright, so now I'm going to pull these off. And I just have a little sheet tray over on the side. I have my oven on the lowest temperature, so right at 200. I'm just going to keep them warm in the oven. Just until my husband comes downstairs. Race spray and continue. All right, let me get the spatula. You don't want to waste the thing. Pancake on. All right. So now I'm gonna have my dogs go wake up my husband. You can also make a bunch of these. Just pre-make them. You can put them in the freezer. Um, I have little hamburger. Um, they're like wax paper, but they're just in little squares. You want to make sure that they're fully cool before you put them in a package and before you put them in the freezer. Once you put them in the freezer, they'll stay for a couple months. Just pop them out. You can put them in the microwave if you want to. I prefer them in the toaster. That's Chloe trying to wake up David. And you can just have pre-made stuff already. So if you have a day that you can just meal prep and you guys want to just go on the, just be on the go, you can just pop them in, warm them up, take them with you. If you like to eat them plain, it's perfectly up to you. You can also make little bite-sized ones and you can make breakfast sandwiches out of them. McDonald's does it, why can't we? So, maybe I'll do that in another video, who knows? But, let's finish off these pancakes and start eating breakfast. Second batch is ready to flip. All right, you're just gonna cook for another couple minutes and then we're gonna be done. All right, so this set of pancakes are done. These are the oven. I'm gonna come back in the oven just so I can keep them warm, just so I can get the griddle moved out of the way. And then we are gonna serve. So, hope you guys enjoy. Don't forget, I will link the homemade Bisquick down below. Let me know how you guys eat your pancakes in the morning or at lunch, or at dinner. Hope you guys enjoy. Comment below and give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. See ya.